You know, I really don't know what it is at this point. Maybe it's training. Maybe it's all the experiments. Oh, well, maybe it's stress. Or maybe it's you waking me up at ungodly hours every morning for the past week that has me so exhausted. What do you think, little kitty? What do you think it is? Is it training, experiments, stress, or you? Oh, you don't remember waking me up? All right then, how about I remind you? Just yesterday, you woke me up by licking my face and pawing at my nose. And if I recall, you woke me up because you wanted me to rub your tummy. Not ringing a bell? All right then, how about the day before? You woke me up at one in the damn morning by nibbling on my ear and asking for treats. You remember that a bit better? Oh, good. You seem to have gained your memory again. Well then, little kitty. I'm sure you also remember when you woke me up a few months ago, don't you? Oh, well, I remember it quite well. So how about I refresh your memory? If I recall correctly, and I'm sure I do, you woke me up at 2.34 on my day off because you wanted me to give you scratches. And, don't forget, I said after that that I would need to trim your claws, didn't I? But then there was an emergency, and we haven't been able to trim your claws, have we? Don't give me that look. You look like you're about to attack me. No. Nope. Come on, that look isn't any better. You look like you're going to cry if I try to trim your claws. You'd better not cry. Look, you know why we're doing this. Why do you fight so hard to stop it? Really? You have absolutely no idea why we're doing this. All right, then, just... You know what? Sit there, get comfy, hold out your hands so I can trim your claws, and I'll explain it to you while I do so, okay? No. Has my little kitty forgotten their reward? I told you I'd give you treats after I trimmed your claws. If you want a treat... You have to let me trim them, okay? Oh, so now you're more willing to comply. Duly noted. All right, hold your hands out. There we go, that's a good kitty. Now, I told you before that I just didn't like the fact that you were tearing into my shirt. This happens to be the only shirt I own, which is why I wear it constantly. Now... There are other reasons, but let's start with that one. Let's dive right into every problem and explain why it's an issue, okay? All right, good kitty. Oh, hold still, would you? I don't want to accidentally trim your skin. That wouldn't be very fun, would it? Now, this shirt is special. Not only because it's the only one I have, but for some reason it... It fits me. After all these years, it still fits me. I used to wear this all the time when I was a kid. Back when my mom was still alive. Back when Armin and Mikasa and I could be happy. There are so many precious memories tied into this shirt. I really, really don't want anything happening to it. It feels like the one piece I still have left of those happy days, of that happier version of myself. So I really don't want anyone tearing it, taking it, or doing anything to damage it, okay? That's kind of why Jean and I are enemies, or rivals, I suppose. One time he 
grabbed me by the collar of my shirt, and he almost tore it. I was afraid that I'd lose that piece of myself along with the shirt if it got torn. So, that's why I want to trim your claws. At least, one of the reasons. See, you have this adorable little habit of pawing and kneading any surface you're about to lie down on right before you do so. You need to do it to make yourself comfortable, you say. And you, for whatever reason, have taken to lying on my stomach and curling up whenever you want to go to sleep. So, of course, as one does, you paw and knead my stomach and the shirt on top of it so that you can get comfortable. And, of course, your claws tend to come out when you flex your paws, since you do so in your cat form. And that leads to holes being poked into my shirt by your vicious little claws. Okay? So if you want to continue sleeping on my stomach, you're gonna have to have shorter claws, okay? The other reasons... Well... It's only one, really. I'm scared. Plain and simple. No, no, it isn't that. Believe me, I've been scratched by cats before. But... Ever since I found out about what I am, what I can do, especially what I can do if I get hurt, I'm afraid. Every time something cuts my skin, in fact, even when I get paper cuts, I freeze. And I see everyone's eyes land on me. They expect me to turn into this monster that could kill them all. And I expect the same thing. I know that I need a motivation, a concrete goal, in order to transform, but... But what if... You nick my skin just before I go to bed, and I have some horrible nightmare about losing you? What if somehow my subconscious fears leak into my conscious brain, and... I don't want a dream to become a motive, and I certainly don't want any harm to be inflicted upon me that would allow me to transform if that happened. That's why I'm so afraid, okay? Believe me, I can take the pain. It's incredibly sharp. For claws so small, they certainly do have a sting to them. But it's what comes after that I'm worried about. And if I transformed and hurt you, and I hurt everyone in this building, too, I could never live with myself. Why do you think I care about you, each and every single one of you? You, Mikasa, Armin, Sasha, Connie... Hell, even Jean. I don't want any of you to die. No matter how much I seem to get annoyed with you, or how much I yell, or even how much I tell you I'd be better off without you. I... I can't lose any of you. Oh, um... That was mostly referring to Mikasa. See, she has this habit of acting like my mother whenever she's around me and whenever I'm running headfirst into danger. Sometimes I... I tell her that I'm better off without her because... I know exactly what I'm charging into. And I don't want her to follow me. I know it seems cruel and... Believe me, it is... But I... I'd rather hurt her feelings 
than risk letting her run to her death simply because she wants to follow me, simply because she thinks she needs to protect me, simply because she does need to protect me. Let's face it. I can't do anything on my own. Without everyone else, I'd be helpless. Hell, I didn't even discover this power of mine on my own. If Armin hadn't been frozen in trust, if he hadn't almost been eaten, I wouldn't have taken his place. I wouldn't have suffered all of that pain. I wouldn't have found my goal. I wouldn't have... I wouldn't have been able to transform for the first time. And if it wasn't for his strategic planning, I never would have thought that I could help win back trust. And I sure as hell would not be where I stand today, before you. And even then, his help wasn't enough. In court, I needed Irwin's help and Levi's. I have relied on absolutely everyone here in every way imaginable. And I don't want people to die because of that. What about you? What do you mean? What do I rely on you for? Isn't it obvious? I rely on you for... pretty much everything. No, no. I don't mean it like that. What I mean is... You're always here for me. You always listen to me, you always support me. You always... show that you care about me. And... Because you're a cat, at least partially, you understand what I'm going through much more easily than others do. And by that, of course, I'm referring to your senses. You told me the first day I came back, upset and stressed but trying to hide it, that your senses allowed you to figure out what I was feeling even though everyone else believed me when I said I was fine. You never use that to your advantage and use it against me. Instead, you gauge my moods and... and you help me. You never make me feel obligated to tell you what's going on. You never make it feel like I'm being forced to spill my guts, even though I desperately need to. It's... It's wonderful. You make it feel like I have a choice. And I'm pretty much a slave now. A prisoner. All because of what I am, so... Having a little freedom is... More than welcome. What are you doing? What? I was... I was crying? Jeez, I... I really need to start venting a bit more often. Bottling all of this up is not doing any wonders for my mental health, is it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's certainly not helping the anger issues either. Well, your claws are all nice and trimmed, so how about I get your treat ready? Huh? You don't want a treat? What do you want, then? You deserve some kind of reward. Tell me what you want. You want extra cuddles tonight? As if you even had to ask.